Uh, let's talk about Senator David Perdue. Okay, everybody, listen closely. David Perdue came in to take over as president of Pilotex. And then, within eight months... Pilotex closed down. Thousands of jobs were lost right after Perdue left as the CEO. Purdue says he learned from that experience and in his next position... Purdue was CEO of Dollar General. 2,000 female employees filed a pay discrimination lawsuit against the company. Dollar General also paid out a $42 million settlement alleging Purdue lined his own pockets while shortchanging shareholders. Purdue's campaign has agreed to pay $30,000 in fines for finance violations. An audit of his 2014 fundraising reports had more than $440,000 in prohibited or excessive campaign donations. David Perdue seems to have decided that he cannot survive another minute on the debate stage with John Ossoff. Senator Perdue declined to participate in this debate and is represented by an empty podium. Although I will say that podium does have more personality than David Perdue. David Perdue bought and sold stock shortly after a private Senate briefing on the virus. Between $63,000 and $245,000 in Pfizer, a pharmaceutical company now developing a coronavirus vaccine. Right before he was put in charge of a powerful Senate subcommittee with jurisdiction over the U.S. Navy, Senator David Perdue began buying up stock in a company that made submarine parts a deposition where Purdue admits that he spent most of his career outsourcing jobs. They aren't happy with Senator David Perdue because he hasn't held any town hall meetings. Willfully mispronouncing the name of his colleague. Elizabeth and Kamala, or what Kamala, or Kamala, 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 I don't know. 